Hello everyone and welcome to our Aqua demo. Aqua stands for Agile Quality Assurance. I'm going to tell you that quality assurance, including not only testing, but also requirement management and defect management. Aqua is an application lifecycle management tool, ALM for short. This means with Aqua, you can cover your whole process and lifecycle of your product or software. My name is Robert Weingartz and I'm a customer success manager at Aqua. I'm going to show you what Aqua has to offer. I will not limit myself and show you all features and functionalities. Start with the interface, the requirements, go through the testing and the defect management and end with the reporting with the dashboards and the classic reports. So be excited and let's start with the interface. We are in the heart of Aqua, the navigation. Here you can manage your projects, create folders and get a quick overview over the items. You can have the possibility to switch between the different item tabs, requirements, test cases, test scenarios and defects. There you will always see the items stored in the project or in the corresponding folder. Besides the navigation are other areas. Let's start at the top. Under Home, you can find announcement and news about current releases and updates of Aqua. For reporting, you can use our extensive reports. Here we offer seven default reports that cover most of the information. However, there are no limits to customization of the reports and we are happy to support you. If you want to make quick statements about the current status, use our dashboards which can be customized based on your current needs. As already mentioned, Aqua stands for Agile Quality Assurance. And what would we be without an Agile board? Create your own sprints in this part of the software and add items from the backlog via drag and drop. Here you can not only add requirements and defects to a sprint, but also test cases to make your process even more agile in testing as well. It is important to us that the interface of Aqua is easy and user-friendly. You configure the fields and values in the different item types. You define the workflow and decide which user with which permission has access to the different projects. Quality starts with a detailed description of a requirement. So let's jump into the requirement management. Requirements can be seen as a start for new products or features. To create a new requirement in Aqua, select the project in which you want to create a requirement and click then on the new dropdown in the upper left corner. For our example, we selected an existing requirement. Let's start with the basic, which are the same as in the other item types. In the details, we fill in fields that were configured at the project level. And in the description, we write the information for which the requirement was created. Other general options are the files. Documents, images and files of any format can be stored. You can see a complete history of the item, so it is clearly defined who, what, when changed the item. Dependencies can be created between items of the same and different types, ensuring traceability and coverage. The navigation also shows which requirement is dependent on at least one test case or scenario and is therefore covered. Aqua offers the collaboration approach with the discussion and offers the possibility to talk about this directly in the item. There is no need to worry about a timestamp. Aqua adds this automatically. In addition, this function has the advantage that everything is documented and not in an external chat or mail. Now let's move on to the feature that differs requirements from other item types. We can add more sub-requirements to the requirement to further increase the level of detail, creating a hierarchy chapter overview of related requirements. This is for better clarity and tells the user how the requirement builds on each other. Every implemented requirement should be tested. And this brings us to the topic of test management. 
We'll be looking at the test cases, its structure, and how to execute a test case. In Aqua, you also have the possibility to execute test cases and test scenarios. But in the next part, we will only show to the test cases. So let's start with the testing. We are in a test case. This has already been filled with various parameters in the detail area. A test case consists of one or more test steps. Aqua distinguishes between step, conditions and embedded test cases. Embedded test cases are reference to other test cases. The steps of the embedded test case are taken over for the selected test case and avoid the repeated creation of steps in different test cases. In addition, only one place needs to be adjusted when changes are made. The steps consist of an instruction and an expected result. The condition consists only of an instruction. Test cases can be parameterized, which means that when a test execution is started, a set of values is selected, which insert the values in the appropriate places of the placeholders. This makes it possible to use one test case for several values that the test steps do not differ anyway. With a click on the play button, we start a new execution. Before starting, you can still specify which set of values provides one has been created is to be used, which version is to be tested, and whether the execution is to be further specified by labels. The test execution is then started via execute. In the following tab, you can see the individual steps on the left side and the instruction and expected results on the right side. The tester can then enter the actual result here and store the status of the test step as passed, failed, blocked or not applicable. As soon as one of the steps is failed or blocked, the status of the entire execution is failed or blocked. For a passed execution, all steps must be passed. If you would like to test a website, Use our test recording tool Capture. It is a Chrome extension. Insert the URL you want to test and click on Run a session. The URL will be opened and you can start testing without switching between Aqua and the website. Capture documents all actions and also has the opportunity to create screenshots or record a whole video. In the test case under executions, you will find an overview of all executions of the test case with the corresponding values, such as the value sets used, the status of the execution, or whether a defect was found in an execution. You can create, edit, and execute test cases in a really easy way in Aqua. Also, you have the options like embedded test cases or parameterization to reuse other test cases. But what happens when a test case failed and a defect has to be created? A test case has been executed and a step has failed. Aqua asks you directly if you want to create a new defect or link an existing one. We now create a new defect. This directly takes the information from the step, including images and formatting. In addition, a reference to the test execution, the test case itself, and a step is stored. This way, it is directly clear in which context the defect occurred. The person processing the defect can later understand what happened, since the execution and the test cases are linked. The project-specific status phases and the stored workflow can be used to ensure that the tester is notified when the defects are solved. And that all proceeds are a header too. As already mentioned, the workflow can be set individually per project and per item type. Defects can be created from a test execution or independently. When you create a defect from a test execution, the information is taken directly. Every item in Aqua has a status. This status, like the other fields, can be filtered in the navigation. In addition, the Agile board is based on a status. Let's have a look on our Agile board. 
The Agile area starts with the backlog. Here you can see all items that are not yet assigned to a sprint. You can create a new sprint by clicking on the corresponding button, enter the name, if necessary a description and a time period. Afterwards, you have the possibility to drag and drop items into the sprint. If desired, you can also display only requirements, defects, test cases or a combination of several. If you need more information about an item, you can use the preview button to open a window with it. In the sprint itself, the items are sorted by status. If items have the same status faces, the items are placed in the same column. Here you can now quickly move items between status, provided that these correspond to the stored workflow defaults and also filter by user or priority. A preview is also available here. Alternatively, you can open items in Aqua at any time by double-clicking. The last topic now deals with the reporting. Let's start with the classic reports and jump then to the just-in-time dashboards, which you provide the information about what's happening in Aqua right now. By default, we provide seven reports that allow you to generate a report on different item types. In addition, there is one report each for the requirement coverage, the executed test cases and the test status. When creating the report, there is always the option to set a filter to generate a report on specific selection. Once created, the report can be exported in several formats, including PDF, Word and Excel. Dashboards can include various widgets which can reference information from different projects. Create a new dashboard using the new dashboard button and add a widget. Here you can configure it by selecting the appropriate path, the item type and the parameter you want to evaluate on. Depending on the widget type, there are one or two parameters to choose. The widget can be created in pie chart, bar chart, stack bar chart or table. Clicking on a pie area or a bar opens the drill down view, which displays the corresponding items in that area. Here you can navigate directly to the item or display the entire list in navigation. This option is often used, for example, to discuss critical or open items in a weekly meeting. As you can see, Aqua offers not only the management of your requirements, test case and defects, but also many possibilities for planning, organization and evaluation. Especially decision making is be easier with our reports and dashboards. These are the basic features of Aqua. We would happy to show you other features like the integration to automation tools, to Jira, our user administration, how to use test scenarios and also how creation of reporting works. Thank you for your attention and I hope we see you next time when it's Aqua. We are taking away the pain of testing again.